really like Kyoto. It's probably one of the cities that I've gone to so far that I feel comfortable enough like walking around it and someplace like I could actually see myself like staying here. I did like Hiroshima, um, but we didn't actually stay overnight. So I really couldn't tell you like my full experience because we're only spending the night in Kyoto and then Tokyo. So yeah, it's just so peaceful and quiet which I kind of like am wondering like, what does the social life look like? We won't be here on the weekend, so we can't actually, we can't actually figure that one out. But look at that. Like it doesn't do it any justice. I can't wait to see it in the morning. I have a nice little hike back. So I'm gonna just talk to you guys. Oh, hello. Ooh. This GPS. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Sorry if the lighting is really bad. It is like 12, 1220. And um, it's starting to rain. So my whole intention is to get back to the hotel before it actually starts raining. Because I don't want to get rained on. And not have any umbrella or anything like that. I got there super late and if they ever see this, I'm sorry I was so late. I kind of passed out a couple of times while I was getting ready. I was like, I need some sleep. We literally booked our hotels um, 3 a.m. the day before, of uh, the night of actually, it was the day of that we booked our um, lodging and accommodations. And then I don't think I went to sleep until 4. Then I got up at like 6 o'clock a.m. And started getting ready for the day. I definitely wonder like what ooh, it's like when it's super hot here. Like in July and August. Because right now I'm just sweating bullets and I know that if I even consider staying here in Japan, summer would not be the best time I could stay here. You tend to run into a lot of diverse groups of people here like we did when we got um, crepes earlier today. They actually were from California, but she was born and Korea but grew up here in Japan so she was very talented doing a lot of remote remote work and I think I would really like to have like a townhouse or apartment out here I just love the vibes and although we didn't go to the bar I feel like this is right up my alley. How's it going? 
Arigato
we don't have it in Michigan. We like only have one location that serves actually two locations that are bubble food. Mm -hmm. In Chicago? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, the first time I ever had this was in Baltimore. And it became like my, my crush. I, like, so, like, I didn't use regular milk. It's like a Iota milk or something. travel culture community i hope you're enjoying this content please go ahead and like subscribe and share um today i'll be going over with the ordinary seating and how that is set up um do keep in mind that during the taping of this or the filming of this prices have increased or they will depending on whenever you go i will let you guys know that if you're looking at the seat in front of you it will tell you exactly where the bathrooms are located so that's really extremely helpful um, within the seating area, there is an outlet for you to plug your phone in. And in comparison to the green um, train cars, you also get Wi-Fi and you get a little area to set your things on so you can work on. If you are trying to decipher between the green and the ordinary, um, the green seats actually recline and there's an area for you to put your feet up. So I'll be showing content about the green line because I also did do both. But these chairs are comfortable regardless, as well as giving you um, adequate space. You can either put your luggage above you, as you can kind of see, or you can keep it right in front of you as well. Having it there would not be a problem. These trains can flip quickly, but as long as you are staying within your ticket group, you can sit at any of the seats. A tip that is extremely helpful is if you open up Google Apps, you can go to maps and it will tell you which train lines to take in order to go where you need to and within the train station there's free wi-fi as well so that was extremely helpful and something to keep in mind if you don't have pocket wi-fi or you might not have bought a international sim card another cool thing that you may know about is that you can actually get a um, mobile wi-fi rent it from the airport and based on however long you'll be there you can just return it. So that's pretty cool. The only thing that sucks and the reason why I didn't use it is because when I was landing, they were not open. So that could be a problem you could run into, but if it works for you, definitely give it a try. The JR actually goes to a few awesome locations like Kyoto slash Nara, Tokyo, Kamakachi, sorry, I'm saying that wrong, Nasiko, Towandako, Hiroshima and Miyajima, and then Chu Sonji, as well as Mount Fuji. So just about all of the island, you have the opportunity to see, except um, the further north part, which is where people like to go skiing and whatnot. And the closest we got there was Tokyo. So we didn't get super far on the Shinjiken. Shinji. Please, please, please keep track of your JR rail pass because if you lose it, there is no other way for you to get around. And that would just be tragic because they are a huge investment. Go see my previous videos to find out more about that. Then that can definitely impact your experience on your vacation. In my honest opinion, comparing the green and the ordinary seats, do I think it's worth the money is the biggest thing I would kind of ask myself. And if you just like extreme quiet and you want to just sit there and relax definitely go with the green but if you don't care about a little bit of noise and luxury is really not your thing like if you're like a budget traveler like myself definitely go with the ordinary um i'm happy that my cousin allowed me the experience to see what the green line was 
love her so much if i had to pick i would definitely probably stay with the ordinary and spend my money on other events or food just arrived in kyoto and um i don't know it's really What is in Which one? At the um, her name. Her name is Yuki. Yes. I can't think of the name. Right there, outside the. So they can shake it. Chicken tastes really fresh, but this cheese tastes really fake. Mm -hmm. I definitely choose this shrimp over there. But the chicken's good. I did eating my McDonald's, so now we're looking for some transportation to get us to our hotel. So far, Kyoto looks really, really, really nice. Very modern. Definitely different from the island that we went to in the Yakuza. No, I think I said that one wrong. Yeah, this uh, Kyoto station is really, really, really big. But you don't know where you're going. I probably might get lost. A little bit overwhelming. But there's a lot of shops and food places to go to. So hopefully you'll see us when we make it to our hotel. Guys, please, guys, if you get an opportunity, please stay at this hotel. The customer service was so freaking amazing. As soon as we got out of the taxi, people were there to greet us, to take our luggage. Like, I know I overpacked a little bit, and my bag was heavy, but that nice lady, she, she was like, no, no, give me the bag. She literally bought me for my bag, and she carried it, made sure that we were comfortable, and after we were brought into the lobby to check in, Someone was with us to ensure that our luggage was brought up to our rooms, and that, okay. that's something top-notch for me. So go check out the princess. Guys, I am in my room. They have the concierge come in. Stuff up, which was really awesome. They met us at a taxi and took our stuff out, which was nice. The closet here for my shoes. I haven't checked out the bathroom yet. I think I'll be the last thing 
that we have going on here. Kyoto is very pretty. I have two beds. And then a little table. Chair set going on here. I actually booked my um, accommodations with my points. So this is the Nico Nico um, Princess. So this is what the bathroom is looking like. have a walk-in shower here with a bathtub situation. Um, as well as a toilet here. Um, it's fine. Um, I think it wasn't super, super expensive, so I'm not complaining. I use my points. Um, I didn't really know too much about the different hotels in Kyoto, so, hey, you live in Yuga, right? The train ride here from, oh, I'm sorry, my finger is like all over the way. The train ride here from I I I Ikuni, I think we got on the train around like 10 o'clock. And it's about like four o'clock so we had to go on to two different trains with the jr pass and with the jr pass we did the ordinary seat and so that means you don't have a reserved um area to sit in which was fine we had seats there was no crowding or whatnot but we had to get off in osaka and then you know osaka we transfer over to another train and then we made it here we really tried to take the train to this location but um my japanese is not very well so we ended up just taking the taxi which was a really nice experience it was like a nine minute taxi ride and kyoto is like very big bigger than hiroshima and um where else have i been Akuni, I think. Um, maybe I'm saying it wrong. But it definitely is gorgeous when you see the shrines. Those shrines are beyond gorgeous. Um, I went to Miyajima. Miyajima is where I was at. Miyajima is very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. But it's like a whole island. So this is not an island at all. So it's very much giving um, city vibes. So, we just got settled in, we just got off the train that we've been on for a very long time and we didn't even get to sleep till like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning because we were trying to figure out where we wanted to stay. So, the hotel is very dated and it could really... It could really use some improvements, probably the carpet and the wallpapering. But when you walk in, it was really nice. People were greeting you. I think even the manager greeted us. So other than that, customer service, definitely a 10. Hotel presence, out of a 10. I would give it a five. Um, nothing looks dirty, so yeah, customer service same. But other than that, that's so much. Oh. In the bathroom, it's dated too. But I don't know, if, like, how the other hotels compare in Kyoto. I know they have a Ritz Carl Carlton, so there's some very very nice hotels here. But I know I'm gonna lay down and uh, be ready. Guys, we found ourselves in like the New York of Japan, maybe. Or maybe a smaller version of it. We have all the freaking places that you would find in New York, like Rolex and Louis Vuitton, the high end luxury places. We are in Kyoto on the street. Let me use my translator here. And Teramachi 
Dory. So if you like shopping, you will definitely have a blast here. Isn't so pretty. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, once we get to where we're going, we'll have to show you that too. So, bye bye. We did not go to the same ride place, but that's totally fine. We found this really cool donut place, and she's getting a custom donut, my cousin, who you should all subscribe to at Digital Glow. Ooh, this is cool. I made up a little donut. You see it? Oh my goodness, that looks delish. I don't know, the video doesn't even do it any justice. Awesome. Alright, you're gonna have to review it first. Oops. Her donut right there that we tried. I think it was a caramel glaze with some like whipped crunchies on the top. I love the dough. The dough is great. The caramel's not super sweet, so if you like super sweet stuff, it probably wouldn't be up your alley. But it's a nice consistency for this crunch. It's a winner. Um, I'm not sure what the name of this place is, but, um, definitely, it's a whole vibe. It is Co Donuts. I said it right. In Kyoto. In Kyoto. I don't know, like, I didn't do too much research about Kyoto where you see people walking around. So this has definitely been like a pleasant experience. This is you kind of get the best of both worlds with the traditional as well as like super mod too. You know how you're gonna tackle that? Just cut in half or and there we have it. Oishi. 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 Very good. Everything smells good. Like, it's so freaking cute. You can see, like, the little alleyway that way. Oh my goodness. It's a whole vibe. <laughs> <laughs> You can have food, dessert, little shopping, all at like the same time. Yes, ma'am.
and they are really, really delicious. We met some permanent remote people. Super awesome. She ordered for me, and this was good. So what, what, what was this? She said crepe. with bananas, caramel, and cream. Ice cream. I would give this a 10. This is good. Oh, really? Yes, okay. thanks. Korea, racing, Japan, racing, very fast. Mm. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I got bananas with cream and caramel. And ice cream. <laughs> oh, and ice cream. Nice. Yeah. What was your name, by the way? Haru. Haru? Mm -hmm. Haru. Nice to meet you. This was so good. My hair even wanted to have a bite. We met some pretty cool people. Now we're gonna see about getting my cousin something to eat, finding a trash can, and heading back to the hotel and figuring out something after that. Really good. Definitely a 10 out of 10. From some Japanese sake in a wine glass. And in a sake glass. It is very smooth. There is no strong hints or notes. I'm not a sake expert. But it's definitely light and refreshing. If we have the time to go to the sake factory in Osaka, we can. There is a sake factory in Iwakuni. But unfortunately, we didn't get to see it, but it's totally fine. This is definitely good and probably took me to sleep. And we have a nice little walk. It's like nine minutes. Isn't that is <laughs> Give or take two or three. Because we never made it to where we were. Mm. Just some really nice looking garlic rice. I am in the video. Oh, let me see if y'all can see these. Yeah. Garlic rice. Mm. Got some pickled ginger going on here. And my little garlic rice. See? I'll give you guys my honest opinion. I'm a really picky eater. Mm. I think there's some eggs in there. Oh. You can't eat eggs? No. I totally forgot to get some chopsticks. I just went in with this. <laughs> it's been a long day. You didn't eat it with a spoon? Okay. Just got done eating some delicious food. The best. Yes. And some sake and some shiro wine, which is what is the color of white wine in Japanese. Yes. I don't know. Here, chicken is crispy, it's fresh, mm -hmm. and it's proportionate. And it's called karage. Karage. It's like chicken. Cutlets almost. Mm -hmm. But it's and I think it's fat, fattier. It's fatty. Yeah, maybe. It was really tender and it was full of flavor. Definitely try the chicken if you're here. Um, what else did we have today? Today, I, I had crepes. That was delicious. We didn't have ramen today. That was like, we had ramen when we were in Hiroshima. Hiroshima. And that was when we had to like, Pick out what you want to eat. Put the card in there. Oh, that's right. That's yep. right. That was on. Um, that was on Main Street. That was on. When it's a red light, you gotta stop. What's the name of the street? 
It was in the shopping food yes. district. I'm not sure exactly what the food district uh, is. Uh, but Honduri. Honduri. Honduri Street. You want to go to Honduri Street because mm -hmm. that's where all the markets and the shopping places. And then the ramen place was. It was Ichiba. 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 So it was definitely really, really Wherever nice. there was a line, that's where you need to. Exactly. It was a long line. People waited. But I would say that like Seven Eleven can compete though with some of these restaurants. Ooh, yeah. So hey, if you're on a budget, get your and whole meal. Look at that. Get your whole meal every day from Seven Eleven. But you know, splurge on something different. You know, we got some different things. Oh, the donut, the donut with the um, and I have a picture of it, so I'll drop it. Out. Yeah. She ended up getting, I think it was like Moo Donut over in the area we just left. It looked so Instagram worthy. Yeah, it looks, it looks nice. I'll, maybe I would upload that up as well. Upload it to Instagram. Yeah, it, it looked good. I'm just not really a strawberry person. Mm. So, it was a donut that was made like strawberry short. So, it tastes like strawberry shortcake, but it was actually a donut mm -hmm. sandwich. With strawberries and for sure but the other donut she had was good it had like caramel and a little bit of all the sprinkles on top sprinkles on yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. oh i had my um salmon and salt from 7-eleven that's my go-to yeah, she had the uh, onigiri. <laughs> onigiri 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 yeah and anything else we had today um, oh i had I had 7-Eleven again this morning. I don't know what, what it was because they didn't have a name on it. It was the rice with seaweed on top. And yeah, then it has like a freed and oh. fried uh, piece. It tastes like potato. And um, oh, I don't know. It was a platter you said you really liked from 7-Eleven. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, the rice. And then it had like some sort of... Um, uh, fish or I, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's good. I eat that quite a bit, or I have had it quite. A bit. Yeah. So that was pretty much it. We we kind of pigged out today, but in a good way. Yeah. Most of it was oh, healthy. Forgot about the crepe. I told them about the crepe. Oh, I yeah. forgot about the McDonald's. Oh, you I definitely shake, shake. would put. <laughs> The shrimp burger over the shaky, shaky chicken, chicken. So the shrimp burger is what I used to eat a lot. It's called the ebi, ebi. So ebi shrimp in Japanese is ebi, 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 e b i, ebi, ebi. Go. Oh. <laughs> but it's like food central out here. Right. And Starbucks. Starbucks and everywhere. The food here isn't super expensive. Like. See, so do you think Japan is as expensive as people say it is? I think it just depends on like where you go and what you have a taste for. Because if you want to eat wagyu every day, mm -hmm. that that's, that's expensive, you know. Yeah. If you like premium tier food, yeah. Not that the, the food here isn't premium, but like you know, flaw gras stuff like that. Of course, it's gonna cost more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have to take into consideration, you know, how much your, how the worth of your money is in your country in comparison to here. Mm -hmm. And so, a common stuff, but you know, that, that's for another day. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about food. Oh my gosh, I felt like I ate so much, but she said I didn't eat a lot. So. She didn't, because we've been walking. We've been on so many different trains. Oh yeah, how many we were on three trains today. How much did we walk? You mean ranch? No, I Karasuma Dori. Karasuma. Karasuma. Dori. That's the name of street. Yeah. I definitely would say Kyoto is fashion and food. And also culture. We just haven't seen the culture yet because we just got here. Yeah, we'll but see that. we'll see that tomorrow. But definitely fashion, food, and culture. Yes. All right. 
All right, see you guys tomorrow. So, I actually didn't go to bed. I'm actually going out to meet up with the ex and the kids that are doing their um, study abroad. So I'm like four minutes away from the actual. Oops, I was supposed to stop. Uh, location. So we're supposed to meet up and then go to the club, and then I'm going to sleep. This is gonna be interesting because I have no Wi-Fi. But hopefully if we don't go too far, I know how to get back home. So yeah. We'll just have to see where this goes. You guys, so we eventually met up, me and the group. But it's starting to rain and some of the stuff is closed. So I'm walking back by myself. So five minutes back to my hotel. Um, it's Nikki. Princess Hotel. Oh my goodness, this is just like so awesome. Super gorgeous. Okay, sorry about that. I was taking some pictures and whatnot, but I really like Kyoto. It's probably one of the cities that I've gone to so far that I feel comfortable enough like walking around it and someplace like I could actually see myself like staying here. I did like Hiroshima, um, but we didn't actually stay overnight. So I really couldn't tell you like my full experience because we're only spending the night in Kyoto and then Tokyo. So, yeah. It's just so peaceful and quiet, which I kind of like am wondering, like, what does the social life look like? We won't be here on the weekend, so we can't actually, we can't actually figure that one out. But look at that. Like, it doesn't do it any justice. I can't wait to see it in the morning. I have a nice little hike back. So I'm gonna just talk to you guys. Oh, hell. Ooh, this GPS. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Sorry if the lighting is really bad. It is like 12, 1220. And um, it's starting to rain. So my whole intention is to get back to the hotel before it actually starts raining because I don't want to get rained on and not have any umbrella or anything like that. So I got there super late and if they ever see this, I'm sorry I was so late. I kind of passed out a couple of times while I was getting ready. I was like, I need some sleep. We literally booked our hotels um, 3 a.m. the day before, of uh, the night of actually, it was the day of that we booked our um, lodging and accommodations. And then I don't think I went to sleep until four. Then I got up at like six o'clock a.m. and started getting ready for the day. I definitely wonder like what whew, it's like when it's super hot here, like in July and August, because right now I'm just sweating bullets and I know that if I even consider staying here in Japan, summer would not be the best time I could stay here. You tend to run into a lot of diverse groups of people here, like we did when we got um, crepes earlier today. They actually were from California, but she was born in Korea, but grew up here in Japan. It's 
So she was very talented doing a lot of remote remote work. And I think I would really like to have like a townhouse or apartment out here. I just love the vibes and although we didn't go to the bar, I feel like this is right up my alley at Rosemont 7-Eleven. So I can stop and get something, but we don't have a microphone. This is a bummer, just the refrigerator. All these cool vending machines. Whew. 